You just saw the difference between instance members and static members. An instance member of a class requires you to create an instance of the class first before you can access the member. A static member of a class doesn't have this requirement. Now some of your members will need to be instance members. For example, there's no real point in setting the customer name if you don't have a customer first. But you might create methods that can be static methods. For example, you might have a helper class that has a number of methods that perform mathematical calculations. These would be good candidates for making static members, especially if the purpose of the helper class is just as a place to organize these methods. There's nothing necessarily to be gained by creating an instance of the helper class to then call my helper dot and then the name of a math method. If you created static methods, then you could just use that method and use the name of the class to identify where that method lives. So as you're creating methods as well as properties, give some thought as to whether or not they can be static instead of instance. If they can be static, you'll save yourself a little bit of code.